Okay, I'm going to give a tour of Temple OS. So you, you can, it's primarily command line driven, but you can come up off the bottom. Like what I just did was uh, delete a file. If I delete it again, it doesn't exist. But anyway, um, it's not an active directory. Um, so uh, control M gets to your menu. Let me tell you how this began. Um, <clears throat> I was faced with the question of what to do with the command line. And uh, I, I, it has to be the same as the script scripting language and I never liked Unix scripting because I could never remember because I didn't do it that often. I was a programmer and I didn't do that many administrative tasks. So um, I said how about if I use C, the C language. And so um, I made uh, I made uh, um, the command line um, feeds into a C compiler um, and uh, I said you know, what if I use default arguments from C++ then I said hey you know what I don't need parentheses if I so that's how I got rid of parentheses but the um, the side effect is uh, now you have to say uh, address of a function if you if you want to specify a function pointer like to a Q sort or something a function pointer to Q sort um, then uh, there's a function pointer then you have to uh, you have to say the address of the function I think it's better anyway but so I broke compatibility with C and um, I went ahead and I changed everything um, so for example um the uh the bit shift is is like an exponent so it's higher precedence anyway uh so i don't remember if it, well anyway um so i call it holy c um the version of c anyway so uh what was i going to talk about Okay, so can, so I, I wanted I, I don't have a command line history. If you move the cursor key, it brings you up off the bottom. So you, you can come up here and hit character turn again. And if you hit Control T, you see the text underneath. So um, this the commands are bracketed by dollar signs, and uh, MA is macro L. LK is link and uh, anyway so um, so since I didn't have a command line history I thought uh, what if I uh, what if I have a, uh, a separate menu for uh, macros control M this gets this this is a document um, you, you navigate like a document with cursor keys and I even have a few um, multiple uh, multiple entries on the line anyway red is uh, link blue is macro so uh, these are macro if you um, change directory there it did a change directory and then it did a directory so control M so this this was inspired by my command line history, but it's a, um, so these are a bunch of macros. One thing the keyboard is not much fun unless you're using cursor keys. If you're using cursor keys, it's a, it's a joy to uh, use the keyboard. It's not at all unpleasant. You know everybody thinks a GUI is, or a, a graphics interface is better. But if you have cursor keys, it's better than GUI. Anyway, um, so what are these? These are uh, my text files also have graphics. So um, I call them doll docs. Kind of, I don't know if I want to stick with that name. But anyway, um, so um, if we hit Control T, it says Sprite with a pop-up. So, so normally, um, 
macros, um, when we when we enter a macro, it gets sent sent to the command line. But this makes a new task. Um, if you see, um, if you look up here on the sidebar, it says uh, terminal and then menu. That means we're in the menu, and then when we um, when we enter a macro, it'll get kicked back to the terminal. Um, now if I hit F1 inside the terminal, now we're editing a document inside the menu with the terminal. So you, these can keep going on and on and on. If I hit Control M again, see it doesn't even care. It's part of the, uh, that doesn't make sense. But anyway, so sh to, to get out of a document, you hit Shift Escape as abort. That's the same as back. Shift Escape, Shift Escape. So, um, by the way, on these videos, you can look up here in the upper right, and it shows the key that I pressed. This is not good for passwords. There's no cryptography allowed. We don't want anything. This is completely... Uh, let's keep it a playland. I don't know what you want to call it. Anyway, uh, so uh, Control-M is uh, the menu. And uh, so these are picture macro sprites with uh, with macros that start in a window. Um, so uh, um, so underneath is the wallpaper. This shows the running tasks. Um, we have eight cores, and uh, there's a there's a special task called Atom. Only only. Um, I'm doing a task rep. Um, so core zero is special. This is not symmetrical. Um, so Adam is the father of all tasks, and his child tasks are here. All all tasks are children of Adam, actually. Seth in the Bible. Adam is Adam and Eve. Seth is the uh, son of Adam. Anyway, the on the other cores there's a. I don't know what you want to call it, executive task, something like that. Anyway, so what other tasks do we have? We have the window manager, which this um, owns the wallpaper, and the order of these tasks is the window order, um, front to back. Anyway, um, wallpaper, okay, well, anyway, autocomplete is a handy utility. Um, frame grabber that's because I'm making a video and then the other two tasks so uh, um, so Adam is this window only tasks on core zero have windows core zero is special um, basically nothing uses the other cores unless it um, unless the um, game specifically um, requests other cores so the the other cores are not used except if a, if a like if I do a flight simulator that um, that uses other cores. So this is uh, the video is um, updating eight times a second, but the uh, the screen is updating thirty. Anyway, so where was I? So Adam, um, so you don't uh, you don't type text into Adam. Adam is a uh, executive or something. Um, so we can tell Adam to uh, print hello. He just printed hello. We can tell him to... In, um, so, so each task has memory, right? It has a heap and a stack and stuff. So um, if the task gets killed, the memory gets freed. Now Adam never dies, and so his his memory is like kernel memory. And um, each task has a symbol table, and uh, when you declare a variable, that's in your symbol table. Um, little r, I guess it's little r. Okay, so i's in my symbol table. Um, now, um, Adam, 
if, if a symbol's not found, it checks the parents. And so um, Adam is the parent of everybody. So all, so all tasks um, inherit Adam's symbols. Um, it searches his table. So if, um, that's when I, when I didn't, it, it'll recurse. Uh, let's, so these are all the symbols in Adam's table that are just waiting for us if it doesn't find it in the local table. So the, the symbol table is like environment variables, except it's uh, more than that. When you, uh, when you, when you include a file, um, it, uh, there's a home directory. When you include a file, uh, we can even do a shorter hello world. Um, so when you include a file, it's, uh, it's the same task. It doesn't make a new task. And so um, if you include it twice, it makes extra code. Anyway, uh, uh, so symbols can overshadow previous symbols. It won't give you an error if you redefine. Like if I redefine main, that's not a problem. Um, it only uses uh, the most recent that's because uh, in normal in normal operation, there we got hello world two. Anyway, um, we can do main. I just hit F five. Um, so normally you do everything just in time, um, so we don't have object files, no executable files. All the programs you execute just in time, and if it if it's too big, then it doesn't belong. Um, anyway, um, don't worry, you won't ever have that problem. I can compile all the, I wrote this over the past 10 years, and uh, this little macro compiles all the, all the, uh, the ahead of time code. Oh, I, I kind of screwed up. So if there's 40,000 lines ahead of time and 40,000 times just in time. During boot, it um uh, during boot it um com it this is like auto exec dot bat um in in the kernel atom atom one file is uh um compiled during boot there's forty thousand lines that are compiled fifty thousand lines that are compiled during boot there, there's a uh uh, line. I'm going to give you an overview. So this is. These are all the directories on the standard distribution. The accounts directory is kind of like your. That's your home directory is under accounts. Atom is everything compiled during boot, just in time during boot by by the Atom task. Applications, compiler, compiler and kernel. Are compiled ahead of time, so that's twenty thousand and twenty-five thousand. Those are those are made into a binary file. You never need to make binary files unless you're playing with Atom and kernel, or kernel and compiler. Um, then there's the demos, and the documentation. Um, there's miscellaneous. This is a uncompressed for Linux. Um, anyway, so um, m mostly you have. Half of it is kernel and compiler, and the other half is the atom, um, and I guess your accounts, I guess. Anyway, so um, that's, that's the overview. Um,